ready to roll. Okay, so we are on CEHV 10, Module 4. This is 4.4 SNMP enumeration. Probably the single most used protocol for enumeration is SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. It has been used throughout history, not merely with Microsoft, but with Linux, Unix, Cisco, uh, network devices, uh, uh, servers, all kinds of devices. It's been used to query all the devices regularly, automatically, and present everything in a single dashboard console view. So let's take a look at SNMP enumeration. A uh, simple network management protocol, it enumerates pretty much anything that a device is willing to tell you. You have two parts, a manager and an agent. The agent is a small software thing that is installed on all the devices. And the manager is software installed on a managing computer. And it has two sort of default passwords, if you will, or workgroup names called the community string. Now, the community string is simply how I identify myself. So, a string is just a series of letters, right? So, when a manager goes to the devices, the agents, and says, tell me what's going on, it has to identify itself by its community string. The agents are not going to respond unless the manager and the agent belong to the same community string. And there are two defaults, public, and private. And then these community strings can either be read only or read write. So if I have a read community string, I can query the device for its information. If I have read write as a manager, I can also edit the configuration. The public community string is read only by default. The private community string is read write by default. You can create any community string name you like. So how do attackers use this? Well, attackers make an assumption that you have not changed your community strings. So you set up a bogus manager saying, hi, I'm your manager. Hey, printer, tell me all your print jobs. Hey, switch, tell me about all of your interfaces and how congested they are. Hey, server, tell me how much disk space you have. Oh, and by the way, all of your services what were the DHCP leases you handed out? How are, who are all your users and groups? Uh, hey, router, give me your route table. So it can go around and query all this stuff. Now, of course, if we've changed the community string, then when we set up a, a bogus manager here, we have to guess what it is. But here's the thing. SNMP, like all these old protocols, is clear text. So if we can just sniff it, we've got it. We're just hoping that they haven't changed it from public or private. Now, a management information base, or MIB, don't think this is men in black, okay, this is MIB, management information base. This is just a set of questions. They talk about it being a database and this and that. It's just a set of questions. You see, each device type has information specific to it. Now, routers are going to have things like my interfaces, my route table, um, my routes, uh, uh, the statistics on my interfaces. It's not going to have things like Active Directory or organizational units, OK? But an Active Directory domain controller will have users, groups, policies, OUs. Um, and, and then a switch will have things like all of my little switch ports. And um, a server is going to have CPU temperature, disk utilization. So each device type, and by the way, sometimes it's not a device, but a service on a device, like a DHCP service or a DNS service. But each device type or service type has questions that are appropriate for it. And that's what a MIB is. So a manager has to have all these MIBs, which are just sets of questions that it can ask each type of device. And most management software comes with typical MIBs. But most manufacturers, you can download and install the MIB that is specific for that particular device. 
So the manager is going to use the MIBS, and it's going to have one for every device. Uh, to it, It's just a description of all the things that can be queried. And uh, the MIBS are organized by a hierarchical fashion. So it's basically just a long string of numbers that then have an associated question. So it's organized hierarchically. So like we, we could, in theory, um, organize every single MIB question in the whole world for every device into a single hierarchical tree structure. But that's, that's beyond the scope of this class to get into. Anyway, so um, we can manage things that are just like one object, like one router, scalar, or we can manage multiple things that are grouped together, like a whole bunch of Cisco routers of the same uh, brand or, or the same model number. So then the MIB will have little object IDs, and it'll be things like, give me a counter, or a string, or an address, or some access level. Uh, so basically, so I can do some read and writes. And the SNMP uses the MIBs with all the little object IDs, and it will translate them so you don't look at just numbers. It translates them into something you can read, something human readable. So here's the architecture. I've got a manager. And it's going to, maybe there is one agent that talks to a whole bunch of devices, or maybe there's one device that has its own agent. And the manager just goes and queries. And the, it queries with a, a get. Get, get next user. Get next um, uh, DHCP lease. Get next interface. And then I get a response. Now, if any of these devices, and so this manager is talking to an agent which is covering all of these guys, or, and then this manager is talking to a single device with its own agent. If any of these guys need to raise an alert, what we call a trap, then they come back and they talk on UDP 162. So 161 is for the managers to, the manager to go query the devices, and 162 is for the devices to come back and talk. Anyway, this whole mechanism, this has been the historic way to provide central console information so that at a glance I can see the status of all my servers. If there are any alerts, I can click it. Oh, this one disk space almost full. This one CPU consist consistently hot. This one policy violation, whatever it is. But the only thing is, because it's clear text, because it's a well-known system, hackers and pen testers also take advantage of it. So. Here's just yet another example. I got a manager, and it's just asking questions. Give me your software version. Give me your IP address. Give me your available hard disk space. Give me your tables. Give me open files, ARP tables. And it just goes and queries all these devices. Various SNMP tools, OpUtils, SolarWinds. SolarWinds is like the venerable one that people use. But SNMP Scanner, GetIf. GetIf is a nice um, uh, free little tool. OID View, iReasoning, SNSCAN, SoftPerfect, SNMP Informant, NetSNMP, NS Auditor, Spiceworks. I've used Spiceworks uh, extensively. And, and there are even more. Um, Nagios, Observium, I've used those a lot as well. So that is SNMP enumeration.